Hello Realty. Good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do, to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have defied answers are being tackled. I have the assurance that the Lord has taken care of your own body in this ministry. You just have to follow us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Put on your notification button. Then go through the videos that were uploaded in this place, over 500 of them. Before you finish them, you discover how much the Lord has dealt with your concern. I urge you to use the comment section for your testimonies as the Lord is blessing you, as well as help us to share this message to make it go viral. God bless you as you do so. Let's pray. Father, we thank you because you are a faithful God. You began to do a new thing in our lives, and we know, Lord, that you will continue to do so. Father, glorify Jesus in our lives once again. Help us to know you better and how to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, we are still on amusement. And what kind of amusement is good? Now let's see Genesis chapter 29 verse 22. So Laban invited everyone in the neighborhood and prepared a wedding feast. In Job chapter 1 verse 4, Job's sons would take turns preparing feasts in their homes. And they would also invite their three sisters to celebrate uh, with them. In Genesis chapter 21 verse 8, when Isaac grew up and was about to be weaned, Abraham prepared a huge feast to celebrate the occasion. Now in Luke chapter 15 verse 23 to 24 and verse 27, we also see and kill the calf we have been fattening. We, we must celebrate with a feast, for this son of mine was dead, and the, I mean Luke, yeah, okay, was dead and was now returned to, to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return praise god in john chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 the next day there was a wedding celebration in the village of cana in galilee jesus mother was there and jesus and his disciples were also invited to the celebration so what kind of uh, amusement is good celebrating with family is delightful and that is the greatest and uh, one of the greatest uh, celebration or amusement in, in first Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 the Bible says so a church leader must be a man whose life is above reproach he must be faithful to his wife he must exercise self-control live wisely and have a good reputation he must enjoy having guests in his home and he must be able to teach hallelujah look see also in the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 16 verse 15 she uh, she and her household were baptized, and she asked us to be her guest. If you agree with, uh, that I am a true believer in the Lord, she said, "Come and stay at my home." And she urged us to uh, urge us until we agreed. Praise God! I just want us to take a pause in this place and meditate over these things. What kind of amusement is acceptable or is good? And you are not born again, can you quickly pray and say, Lord, I surrender to you this morning. Please save my soul from eternal hell and damnation. I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Wash me by your blood and give me a clean heart. Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. Satan, withdraw your feeding hands from my life. You didn't make me and you cannot keep me either. My life belongs to Jesus and to him I have returned. Thank you, Father, I am born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May I say congratulations to you if you have prayed this prayer with me. And I also urge you to continue to fellowship with us. The Lord has prepared all these things for you to become a better you. You can never get it wrong doing the right thing with us here. God bless you as you do so. Have a pleasant week, 
a pleasant day and you know surprising you know a good news filled day in your life in the name of jesus god bless you